Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 30th episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers titled The Rockstar. We start this episode outside of Billy's garage where the teen sons training are piling things into the rad bug. Well, everyone except Jason, that is, because he isn't going on this field trip that everyone else is going on because he needs to spend some time with his little cousin Jeremy. I don't think the writers know what a field trip is, but okay. We get a cute little moment where Trini comes in and offers these things to them that she made in cooking class that look like brownies. The rangers go to go taste them and she tells them that it's escargot, which Billy lets everyone know means that it's snail, so I toss them over their shoulders and smile like good sports. I like the idea that Trini thinks that she's great at cooking exotic dishes while everyone wishes that she would just stop. I might also just be putting a characteristic to Trini that's not there. Everyone without Jason gets into the rat bug and leaves, and apparently Squat is just waiting behind some bushes to watch them leave. That's strange. Squat goes back to the moon and Rita mentions something about a mirror. So at the beach, Bulk and Skull apparently opt out of the field trip too and they're eating pizza. Jason and Jeremy walk along a path. Bulk notices them and asks who the kid is rudely and Jeremy says that this must be the famous bully. What? He's more like the annoying kid in your class at this point. Whatever, Bolt tries to fight Jason for some reason and he ends up with his face in the pizza. Yay. Jason and Jeremy are going fishing, but first they practice martial arts on the beach. Jeremy's not great, but he clearly looks up to Jason, so that's cool, I guess. Jason mentions how when he was young, martial arts helped him build his self-confidence, which is nice. Rita sees them on the beach and she almost shits a brick because she thought all the rangers were out of town. Does she understand the concept of teleporting? Oh well, she sends down putties. Jason and Jeremy both fight the putties, getting rid of them. They then finally get to go fishing. This episode's really dragging along. Jeremy somehow catches something within seconds, and it's a bottle that Jason just rips open right away, and weird light particles fly out. Jason hides real quick and calls Zordon, who tells him to get Jeremy and leave. Jason tries to get Jeremy, who has a boner for the bottle and the mini earthquake that just happened. Inside the bottle is a map to the Mirror of Destruction. Apparently, according to Rita, this mirror will destroy whoever looks into it, and we get a terrible flashback of some Asian guy in night armor who gets killed by the mirror. Scorpina, Babu, and Squat go down to Earth, and some Somehow, Scorpina snaps her fingers and some rocks form a monster named Rockstar. How the hell did Scorpina do that? Whatever, they appear in front of Jason and Jeremy, and while Jeremy runs away, Putty's attack. But then the Rockstar shows up too, and he pins Jason down with a big foam rock. Zordon calls the others, and Trini and Zack teleport in, helping Jason. He lets them know that they're after Jeremy, and we get a lot of weird cuts before we find out that there's also trouble at a beach club somewhere. The Rangers are going to morph, but Billy says that he'll find Jeremy and just bails. It's kind of hilarious. There's a cool little fight with the putties with the black and yellow Rangers, while Pink fires her power bow at Scorpina. Yellow and black get pushed away by Rockstar and in the background there's a random Japanese dude falling all over himself. Rockstar fires rocks at Trini and Zack before they get kicked into the pool. Meanwhile, Squat and Babu frump on in to let Scorpina know that they lost Jeremy. I honestly don't even remember them going after him. Scorpina finds pink and red, and her mouth moves to tell Squat and Babu to go do something, but there's no audio, so that's good. Rockstar appears and fires rocks at red and pink, so we're left with Billy apparently just running around somewhere. We find out that Jeremy has tricked some putties to go away and he finds the mirror somehow. The putties come back and find Jeremy who just uses the mirror and kills them. Congrats, you've made a murderer. Now Jeremy's on his back and the rock star is over him with a big rock, presumably ready to bash his head in. But Jeremy uses the mirror again and boom goes rock star. Meanwhile, I can only assume Billy is, you know, just taking a smoke break somewhere. Jeremy says the mirror is too dangerous and just tosses it away. What kind of idiot? It lands on the beach by Scorpina who starts going for it. Yellow, black, and blue come out and fire at her with their blade blasters. In a moment of complete confusion, Pink and Red appear and Pink loses the mirror to Scorpina. Time to make Scorpina and Goldar grow. They form the Megazord and Giant Scorpina points the now giant mirror of destruction at the Megazord, who struggles not to look at the mirror because, you know, the Megazord has like eyes. Goldar grabs the Megazord, who then gets switched with the Megazord, and Scorpina has to throw the mirror. The Megazord calls on the Power Sword, then they destroy the mirror in midair. The Rangers regroup with Jeremy on the beach, who has a huge boner for the Power Rangers. In the end, we're at the juice bar where Jeremy is bragging to everyone about how he fought putties, and he even says how he saw the yellow and black Rangers get tossed into the pool to drown. But that's not physically possible. Whatever, he asks Jason where he was during the fight, and Jason says he had something to go do. And we end the episode there. Jesus. This episode was hell just to get through, to be honest. 
I don't know if it's the fact that the actor for Jeremy is bad, the fact that they dubbed over his voice for some reason, the idea that the monster was just there while they fought putties over and over and over again, or the idea that this wasn't even really a Jason focus episode. It was pretty much a Jeremy one. I mean, did the Rangers even know that Jeremy destroyed the rock star until he tells them at the juice bar? Or did they just assume that he left? Whatever, hopefully next time won't be so rough. But until then, may the power protect you.